The following is proper connection and setup for Reed's FRL, or Filter Regulator Lubricator. The FRL is key to preparing clean air for use in pneumatic system tools. The use of prepared air allows tools and equipment to operate with maximum effectiveness and efficiency. Always use an FRL with Reed pneumatic tools, such as the saw at pneumatic saw and universal pipe cutter. Failure to do so may result in premature motor failure and will negate the warranty. Connect the airlines to the FRL. The direction of the airflow is indicated by arrows on the top of the FRL. Refer to the FRL connection diagram. With the pneumatic tool connected and in the off position, turn on the supply air to the FRL. Check the level of fluids in the clear bowls on the bottom of the air filter and air lubricator. If the air filter bowl contains water, drain the bowl by pressing and holding the small button on the bottom until the water is completely drained. Observe the maximum water level line on the air filter bowl. Water can be drained with either the air supply on or off. The oil level in the air lubricator must be maintained for proper lubrication of the pneumatic tool. The minimum and maximum oil levels are indicated on the bowl. To add oil, remove the black oil plug at the top of the oiler with a 1 quarter inch hex wrench. Add oil and replace the plug. Oil can be added with either the air supply on or off. Be sure to use non-fluid oil. The air pressure is indicated on the dial gauge on the front of the pressure regulator. To adjust air pressures, pull the large black knob below the gauge down to the unlocked position. When unlocked, an orange band can be observed on the top of the knob. Turn the knob clockwise to increase the pressure. When the desired pressure is reached, push the knob up to the locked position. The orange band is no longer visible. The amount of lubricant supplied to the pneumatic tool is regulated by the number of drops of oil per minute and is observed through the sight window of the oil adjusting valve knob at the top of the air lubricator. Check the specific pneumatic tool manual for lubrication requirements. Numbers on the scale of the adjusting knob do not indicate drop amounts. Turn the adjusting knob clockwise to the off position. Then turn that same knob counterclockwise until the indication mark is on 4 or 5. This is a good starting point. With the pneumatic tool running, turn the knob to adjust to the required number of drops. Counterclockwise will increase the number of drops. Periodically inspect fluid levels during the use of the pneumatic tool.